In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a Section C example response for those of you that are studying the political and social protest writing paper with AQA Literature Spec B. For Section C, students have approximately one hour to talk about two texts, and that includes uh, multiple poems. So a text means a, po a collection of work, essentially. So two texts here are The Kite Runner and Blake. The question that I'm looking at is the question that has already been asked a few years ago, and it's about personal courage. And as I have done in, in a lot of my videos on this channel, when I'm looking at exemplar responses, I begin with a kind of a plan, but I also highlight the bit of the question that is most important, which is the words personal courage, because that is what I'm talking about in this response. So in this response, I'm going to plan to write three paragraphs. I could write more, um, but three um, is a good number if you um, want to you know, spend enough time to think as you're writing, I suppose, rather than it being rushed. Uh, two paragraphs about the kite runner, one about Hassan in chapter five, and one about Baba in chapter 10. And the final paragraph about one of the Blake poems, The Chimney Sweeper from Innocence. And that would hit the requirement of the mark scheme because you're talking about two texts. It doesn't have to be equal treatment of both texts. Um, and you also don't have to compare and contrast either. So that gives you kind of an overview of what to expect in this example response. Commonly, as is commonly the case for Lit B, there's no need for an introduction or a conclusion. So we're going to go straight into the Kite Runner and talk about Hassan in chapter five. Whereas Hassan's treatment at the hands of Asef in chapter seven is an obvious depiction of Hassan's courage in the face of an aggressor, it is not the first time readers have seen Hassan's personal courage when being confronted by a tormentor. It's in chapter five that Hassan and Amir are confronted by Asaf and his two disciples, Wali and Kamar. And as this is the first time readers also meet Asaf, Hassina reinforces Asaf's derogatory and aggressive capabilities. During this interaction, Asaf uses the offensive label Kunis when seeing the boys for the first time, as well as telling them about his idolization of Hitler as a great leader. The description of Asef also reinforces his sinister character. He has a savage sort of grin on his lips, is known as the ear eater, and brandishes his steel knuckles, which represents a threat to not only Hassan and Amir, but all the children in the neighbourhood. Courageously, Hassan uses his slingshot to defend Amir, the target of Asef's vitriol, and a motif of justice and self-defence. According to Asef, Amir is responsible for Hazara still populating Afghanistan, showing Asef's nationalistic and extremist agenda, which is extended into the second half of the novel when he joins the Taliban. Knowing Hassan, Amir says that Hassan was scared plenty by confronting Asef, despite a brave exterior. And even though Asef is defeated by Hassan's actions at this point, it could be argued that the events of chapter seven happen because Hassan's courage in chapter five and Asef being unable to bury a grudge. So that is the first paragraph there hopefully making it clear that Hassan there is the focus of courage. Um, talking about Baba then in chapter 10, the threat of sexual violence and abuse is also the reason why Baba shows personal courage in chapter 10 during his journey to a country of safety, Pakistan. En route, and during a moment when Afghanistan has been invaded by the Soviets, showing the country's transgress transgression from peace to war, a Russian soldier wishes to rape a refugee woman showing the powerlessness and exploitation that refugees can face. Baba, as a representative of the hero wrestler of black bears and towering Pashtun specimen, immediately stands up to protect the woman, effectively prepared to take a bullet to get and get killed. Tell him I'll take a thousand bullets before I let this indecency take place. <clears throat> Excuse me. This woman is a stranger to Baba, and as a political refugee, it would have been very easy for him to do nothing and allow the woman to suffer. This seems to be what Amir would opt to do, as he clamps his hand around Baba's thigh to try and get him to sit down. Similarly to Hassan, Baba in this moment is prepared to put himself in harm's way to safeguard a fellow human being. Whereas the soldier shows how some use their power for cruel and discriminatory purposes, this scene also shows Baba's moral standards and how he will not let anyone become an affront to them. And then we finish the response by looking at one of the poems from Blake, The Chimney Sweep from Innocence. The Innocence version of The Chimney Sweeper shows the courage of a young speaker who is able to use a dream as a way to courageously continue his miserable and insufferable work. In the poem, Blake comments on how sweeping chimneys is hazardous and how many children receive terrible injuries because of the dangerous nature of the work. Locked up in coffins of black suggests these chimneys entomb these young children. 
During the second half of the poem, Tom has a dream in which an angel comes along with a key to set them all free from their dystopian work. This is symbolic of being set free from constraints, as well as the references to the green world and bathing in a river plus shining and playing in the sun. In the last stanza, Tam, Tom, sorry, as representative of all the sweeps, wakes up and throws in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work, suggesting that the healing capacity of the dream has given the children the courage to face a new day in hard labour. This is represented in the penultimate line of the poem, the morning was cold, Tam was happy and warm. Here, the morning could represent the miserable and restricted nature of their work, physically and spiritually, whereas the adjectives happy and warm could represent Tom's courage and resilience to carry on diligently with the promise of God's love in the afterlife. And that would could complete the, the um, essay. Okay, So, yes, if you've got more time, yeah, have a think about writing maybe another paragraph for maybe Blake or either the Kite Runner. Um, but if that's what you think you can realistically do in an hour, um, then that's absolutely fine. You've spoken about both texts and you've also been talking about courage. So you also have a clear reference there to the question. OK, so that is an example of a Section C paper two response for political and social protest using um, the Kite Runner and Blake as a way to answer the question. Thank you very much for watching and good luck in your studies and the final exams. Thank you.